Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my Skywatch 2 and we're going to do part 3 of the Shop Goodwill Jewelry Mystery Box that was 22 pounds. Um, my husband was nice enough to help me go ahead and, and untangle it all so it would be easier for me to finish showing you the rest of it. But not sure that I'll get it done in one video because it's quite a lot to show. So let's get started. First thing we have here is this beautiful brooch. Here's the back. And we have this little ring here. This is a stretchy ring. It's in good shape. All the little crystals are there. And I found the other little shoe clip. I believe that's what these are, shoe clips. There's the back. I had patent pending, pending and musi on the back, M-U-S-I. And we have this little stretch ring. It's in a brass tone, antique gold. These look like um, marcasite light beads in here. Very nice gray color. We had a lot of bracelets in this um, bag. Here's one with prong set stones. They're a milky uh, pink color to me. They had this um, bracelet. It's, you've got the gunmetal on the inside. See the dark gray? And on the outside, you have this beautiful work of pave set like stones and pink and clear. And these are rainbow colored. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There you go, you can see those stones a little better. I didn't see any missing. It's a very pretty bracelet. Oops. Today, after our rain is gone and it's bright and sunny outside, but we are having wind gusts, so. But it's still a pretty day. It's a beautiful bracelet. The next one was this one, and it's smart. RMN on the back, which is Roman. It's in great shape. It's a pretty bracelet, lobster claw clasp. Now you do have some wear on the lobster claw. As you can see there. And on that side, but other than that, it's in great shape. You don't have any wear on the other pieces like that. So that's very pretty. This is a broken statement necklace, which would make a great pendant and two earrings. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. It's by um, American Eagle. Here's another little bracelet with gray and cream colored and black. Gray and cream colored pearls and this black bead here. I'm not sure what this sign is. On both sides, looks like a wave almost. And it's not magnetic, and it also clips on, so you can take this off if you want to put it on another bracelet. Doesn't have to go on that one. This one's well made for that because you consider it, consider it, center it between the two beads. So I'm going to put it back on here. If anybody knows what that symbol is, let me know. I have another little stretchy bracelet. 
It says love and faith, hope, faith. Faith, love, hope. It's in a silver tongue. Very cute. In pretty good shape. Here's a little Christmas necklace. It's a stretchy. It's a little Christmas tree. We're going to put that in Fiona's lot for Christmas. Let me pull these out. I believe these are purse chains. They all have double hooks on the end. That would make a nice purse chain because it's good and heavy. And then for a more dainty pocketbook, this is a nice one. Shoulder length. Make it shoulder bag like. I don't know if it would do crossbody. I guess it would to some extent. I can cross it on my body. That one and then this one. This is a gold tone. So the, I believe those are pocketbook uh, bag um, chains. They're in good shape. They're not uh, discolored. Here's a little bracelet. A little thin wired with the little flowers with the purple rhinestone in the middle. It's cute. It's a little big on me. We have a necklace here that is broken. It's knife leaf. I always like the way it's curved. Or a feather. I don't know which one you think it is. I think it's more of a feather. And I'm going to put that in the craft lot side of the lot box. Or just in the lot box. I'm probably going to mix it all up. Here's a little bracelet with a little cross. The cross has a little stone in the center. No, it doesn't. It's just a plain. That went in the lot box. This one. It's a very... Um, Brutalist type necklace. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this. I'll show you the finish on it. Because it's all over. If that's the look. There's the back. Here's the chain. And even the lobster claw class has that same look to it. So I believe it is like that on purpose. If you like that kind of look, it's more like a brutalist look. Have another little necklace here. It's like a, a mesh. Let's see. It's magnetic. It does have a tag on it. Simone. It's got some wear on it. On the latch part on both sides. So you definitely would wear that in the back of the neck. But the rest of the necklace is in good shape. Put that in the lot box. Here is a cute little toggle clasped bracelet that has princess, perfect, and pretty. It's a lot to live up to.
it would not be easy being any of those things. Cute little clasp. I like that with the heart. And put that in the kids' lot. Here's a broken piece of chain. It's going to go in the craft lot. And here is a pretty little toggle clasp bracelet. With these crystal encrusted balls. And the dark gray and then these are cold so they're glass there you go now you can see that a little bit better there's the toggle I don't see any maker mark on it the next one is this one it is a lobster claw clasp with silver. So they must have changed it out because it doesn't go with the gold on this bracelet. It's marked Charming Charlie's. And it is quite charming. The little beads on that's very pretty. They feel cold. Oh yeah, they feel cold. Very cute. It's going in the cra in the lot box. Here's a more like a brutalist looking with that blackened antique to look bracelet. You like that look? Go good with that necklace. Where'd that necklace go? Goes really well with this necklace. <coughs> That's cute. Okay, we have a little pearl. They're not glass. Stretchy bracelet. Fairly large pearls. a lot. Here's a little like seeing eye almost and this is the gray stone what's it called hematite little stretchy bracelet and they're glass these are glass because they're cold these Next is a little bracelet with a G on it, I believe, right there. And here's the lobster claw clasp. And here are the links. And you don't see any, there it is, the opening and closing, closing of the links are right there. in good shape and it's not magnetic but I don't know what the G stands for but I do see a little wear on the tip of the heart see that that's either wear or it's either um, it could be tarnish I just don't know. Let's see. Just not sure. But we can check that. Put it over there in our silver pile. These pretty little earrings were a match. If I found a match, I took them out so I could show them. Aren't those beautiful? Almost a peacock colors. Love those. It's 
Sorry, I had to have a sip of coffee. Her last statement was, a uh, statement, a quote she made was, um, a lot of people like to have their picture taken with her. And she's 86 years old, and that's amazing, she said. It sounded kind of vain to me, but whatever. It's a pretty little um, rhinestone prong set ring. It's in pretty good shape. Cute. Pretty That's just the gray I have on today. That's what it looks like on. It's comfortable. And there were two of these. I don't know where the other one is, but I think those are probably broken earrings that need the. Not really broken, but they need the. Um, Probably a fish hook put on them, and then they'd be okay. They look like that. So I'm gonna put that in the craft lot, along with her. Here is a little gold tongue ring. I think it's gold tongue. I don't know if it might, could be gold. A wavy type ring. It's not magnetic. I don't see any marks on there readily, but I might want to test that one. Let me go see if I can find that quote. Okay, there you go. It says, I am now 86 years old. Yet people of all ages want to take their picture with me. Amazing. And she's a Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ginsburg. And that's the pen I'm going to put in the lot box. It's a long time career. Here's a pretty little bracelet. Here's the back. I don't know what the symbol is. If anybody knows, let me know. It's odd that it's done this way. Bracelet, I guess, so it would stay on the inside instead of like this. Just not sure how this goes. Oh, maybe it just fits over. Yeah, there you go. Just fits over, and I guess it can go like that. But it really just it fits over my arm, my hand. That was in our AARP magazine. Here is a little class, a little uh, cord with a lobster claw clasp. Let's see, Just looking over here to see if I have any pendants to go on it. I'm gonna hang that up. Now I'm gonna put it over here in the lot. Here's a little cute K bracelet. And I'm not sure what that is. Love, love this life bracelet. 
with the K. That's very pretty. Here is a necklace that is threaded. The beads are threaded in here. I like the beads. It's got a button for a clasp. There's the beads. For some reason it's not wanting to lay flat for me. I'm going to put this in the um, lot box. Here's another pretty little ring with silver tone and gold tone. It's too big for my pinky, but... It's got one little mark in there. Probably telling me the size. Let's see what it says. Sometimes I just can't get in there to see it. Well, let's try this one. something in there but I can't read it. Let's see. Looks like a number. See it's very hard to read. It's a nice ring though so there's no discoloration. I might test it. And we have this necklace, which is a nice cord on this. Looks like we got a stain here. A good class. It's in good condition with an extender. It's got gold tone beads and red beads and kind of a brown. Oh, these are glass chips, I believe. Here. These are glass. This one's glass. Nope. Not sure. This one's metal, I think. These definitely feel like glass, the red ones. Real pretty ones. I'm going to put this in the lot box. Here's another one that looks very tarnished and it's not magnetic. Now, that is, that is, the beads aren't, so I'm going to see if I can clean those up and maybe test them to see if they're silver. Then we have this little necklace is a Claire's. It's a little heart with a toggle clasp. It's in very good shape. Got texture on this side. Smooth on that side. That's in great shape. I don't see any discoloration or anything. Here's a little piece bracelet. And pink. I guess it's a bracelet. Yeah, I think it's a bracelet. I don't know. I'm going to put that in the lot box. Here's a ring that's very wow what happened to the light here i 
Here's the ring. It's definitely out of shape. It's going in the craft lot. Here's another little ring. Some texture on it. The sun's coming through that window messing up my lighting. Hmm. Well, I'm going to carry on here. Here's a toggle bracelet. Here's the little ceramic or glass beads. These are missing stones, blue stones. It's very cute. This has come detached. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Just see it a little better. There you go. Pretty clasp on that. Here's a little stretchy ring. Let's see what I can do here. There, you can see that. Maybe that's too bright. That's too dark. Let's do that. See the color a little better. That's a gunmetal and a bronze and gunmetal color in the beads. Very pretty ring. It's a little hair clip. Always get some hair clips. Let's go on in the hair clip lot. I do have a bag of hair stuff. I like to put that in. Here's a pretty bracelet. I like the design. It's got a figure eight safety latch. And yeah, I guess you press down to pull this out. It's a slider box chain. Here's the back. It's got something on it, I'm trying to focus in. It's not going to let me. Here we go. I don't know what that looks like to y'all. 925. So we will test it. Here's a little spider ring. It is all one ring. And that's what he looks like. Put him in the lot box. I don't know what this is, if anybody knows. But this part is very weighty. It's like it's a weight. Like you put it on something to weigh something down. It's a little bumblebee. So if you know, know what that is, let me know. Here's some earrings. These are in good shape. Silver tone. Little loops. Oval. Oval. Oval loops. Oval circles. I don't know why my light is doing what it's doing. But hopefully y'all can see those. Hmm. I'm probably going to stop here in a minute. 
Here's another one of those flower bracelets with the purple stone. And wait till the sun quits coming through the... It's in very good shape, so that's a match to the other one. This one. Very cute. All right, I'm gonna end this tape here and we will continue as soon as I get the light situation straight here. And thank you guys for watching my channel. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me any comments that you have about any of the jewelry or whatever you wanna talk about. And um, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.